ready to go in the Southwest. And uh, Laroff. Mystic Dan broke sharply today. So did Carbone and Otto the Conqueror, his stable bait, the two Aspis at entrance, one, two. Otto the Conqueror has the lead. Carbone's second win stock, running in the third position, placed in a good stocking position, but was aggressively ridden out of the gate. Wasn't quick enough to go with the front runner, Otto the Conqueror. Jess Steele, a bit keen here. Outside of win stock, two lengths back to linebacker. Then comes Awesome Road. Mystic Dan was on the lead in his last couple of starts. Today, he's about six lengths behind at midfield field. He's racing with his stablemate Comet Defense. Liberal Arts is next. Charleston, the maiden, is second to last. And that leaves Magic Grant to trail the field with five furlongs to go. Otto the Conqueror paving the way here by a half length. Carbone applying the pressure to that stablemate with a half mile left to go. A length and a half to Jess Steele in third. Windstock in the fourth spot now sent along from that position. On the inside, Mystic Dan attempts to get closer. Slips inside of Windstock. Linebacker is next, trying to pass runners on the outside. He's four lengths behind, making a move as Winstock plummets back in the wrong direction. He's done. Liberal Arts trying to move forward inside of the weakening Winstock. He's about six lengths off the pace as the leaders start to line up. Coming back to the lead, Jess Steele making a big move after Carbone and Otto the Conqueror. Jess Steele storms to the front. Jess Steele and Ramon Vasquez have three sixteenths to go. Here comes Mystic Dan right up the rail, though, with a rail skimming ride by Brian Hernandez Jr. and Mystic Dan is turning it on in a huge effort for the Kenny McPeak Bard. Mystic Dan five, six ahead and he wins wrapped up a dominant win in the Southwest. Second home was Jess Steele. Liberal Arts came on for third and fourth was Common Defense.